Calling all mini explorers. Tiny Trekkers is your ticket to an exciting world where bugs buzz, reptiles roam, and every creature has a story to share. This interactive guide turns kids into wildlife warriors, teaching them fun facts about animals and insects while showing how to protect them. With colorful pictures, easy to read names, and cool activities, children will discover why even the smallest critters deserve our care. Grasshoppers are insects with six legs, two antenna, and three body parts, head, thorax, and abdomen. Grasshoppers have strong back legs that allow them to leap 20 times their body length or more. Grasshoppers are often confused with crickets. Ants colony has different castes, queens, egg layers, workers, females that do tasks, and males for mating. Ants build complex nests with tunnels and chambers that can regulate temperature and humidity. Ants are incredibly strong for their size. Some can carry 50 times their own body weight. Ants live almost everywhere on Earth except Antarctica and a few remote islands. Rhinoceros beetles get their name from the horn-like structures on their heads, which resemble a rhino's horn. Males use these horns to fight other males for mates or territory. Rhinoceros beetles are among the largest beetles in the world, with some species growing over 6 inches, 15 centimeters long. Rhino beetle larvae feed on decaying plant matter, Dung battles often look like tiny wrestling matches, with beetles pushing, rolling, and flipping each other. Male dung beetles often battle over dung balls, which are used to attract mates or feed larvae. To a dung beetle, dung is a valuable resource, much like gold or land to humans. Many dung beetles have horns or strong forelegs used to push, lift, Mantises have binocular vision and can see in 3D. Rare for insects. They can turn their heads 180 degrees, giving them excellent awareness of their surroundings. Mantises live in warm environments around the world. Their body shape and color often help them blend into leaves, flowers, or bark, making them expert camouflagers. Caterpillars are the larval stage of butterflies and moths. They belong to the order Lepidoptera, which means scale-winged. Caterpillars undergo metamorphosis, transforming into a butterfly or moth inside a chrysalis or cocoon. Caterpillars can grow more than 100 times their original size. They go through several stages of growth called instars. Spiders are arachnids, not insects. They have eight legs and two body parts, while insects have six legs and three body parts. Spiders don't chew food. They inject digestive enzymes into prey, turning it into liquid, which they suck up. Spiders make different types of webs, orb webs, funnel webs, cobwebs, and sheet webs, depending on the species. Honeybees live in colonies with a complex social structure, including a queen bee, 
worker bees, and drones. Honeybees build honeycombs in hexagonal cells, which are incredibly efficient for storing honey and raising brood. Honeybees make honey by collecting nectar, digesting it, and storing it in honeycombs. The honey serves as food for the colony. Honeybees live in colonies with a complex social structure, including a queen bee, worker bees, and drones. Snakes have no legs but can move quickly and quietly using their muscles and scales. Some snakes lay eggs, while others give birth to live young. Snakes flick their tongues to taste the air and pick up scent particles, which helps them find prey. Snakes don't have eyelids. Instead, their eyes are covered by a clear scale called a spectacle. Giant spiders are usually ground dwellers, hiding in burrows and ambushing prey. Many giant tarantulas have urticating hairs they flick at predators, which can irritate skin and eyes. Giant spiders are common in Dungeons and Dragons, RPGs, and fantasy novels as monsters or dungeon bosses. teaching them fun facts about animals and insects while showing how to protect them. With colorful pictures, easy to read names, and cool activities, children will discover why even the smallest critters deserve our care. From busy bees that help flowers grow to clever lizards that change colors, this book makes learning an adventure.